Hello guys, what is up? Is the gamer beanie here today, bringing you the Toyota Supra RZ Drift Build Rear Wheel Drive. This car's power to weight ratio is pretty crazy because it's a big, heavy car. Uh, had to tweak around with the tube lid a lot on this one, but got there eventually, as we do with all of them. And obviously now we're starting the Toyotas as we finish the Nissan. So thank you for your support for the Nissans, and I hope to see the support follow on through to the Supra, uh, not the Supra, sorry, the Toyotas. So as you can see this car drifts really easy uh, as peak power is two, sec uh, two second, third and fourth gear. For engine parts you're not going to store everything, you're going to store the k and the fuel injectors, the ignition, the exhaust, the camshaft and then you're going to leave the valve springs, the pistons and the race block and the turbos and then you're going to install the oil cooling system for the turbo so that you rent a cooler and then you've got your oil and cooling again, you're going to store that and your flywheel. For platform and handling, you're going to install everything in there as normal. So your springs, your anti-roll bars, your roll cage, and your weight reduction, etc. I also put a body kit on this car, so I'll show you what bumpers and stuff like that I put on this car to make it look nice. Got some good news as well. This Friday, we will I will be um, ordering my HDP VR, so I'll be bringing you commentary gameplays and funny montages and stuff like that. So for your drive train, you're going to... Um, your differential and stuff like that, install everything again. Uh, your tire compound stock, your tire whip stock, if I show you the rims I've got installed as well. I went with 19 inch rims on this as well. I don't think it looks too washed out or anything like that, so... Yeah, I mean, the HDP VR is getting ordered Friday. Should be here no later than Monday. Um, so, I'll be bringing you like Battlefield commentary gameplays. Uh, Grand Theft Auto when that comes out, which I'm absolutely buzzing for, I can't wait. So there will be a variety of other things going up in there, but I will still continue with my um, drift builds, so don't you worry about the drift builds, they will still continue as normal. So for your alignment, you're going to have a 2.5 negative on the front and a 3.0 negative camber on the rear. Toe out on the front, 1.0, and toe out on the rear, 1.2. And then your front caster is normal, 7.0 high. Um, like I said, it's a bit different from what I normally do. It's, it's, I had to mess around with it a lot. So for springs, just completely drop it as normal, you know, and your differential 100% acceleration and 40% deceleration. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, drift build. If you did, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I am out. Peace.